Hey guys, Wells Knight here, bringing the brand new episode in my 15 minute build series. And in this episode, we are going to be building this small suburban house that you see right here. Let me show it to you real quick. We got a garage, we got a small deck, some windows in the back, and it is deceptively large on the inside. You come through the door, and as you can see, there's actually quite a lot of space in here for such a small house. You also have an attic that you could use for some storage and whatnot. It appears to be much smaller on the outside than it actually is, and that is because the garage door is only for show. But, I think I have done enough talking. Let's go ahead and get right to building. I'm going to put 15 minutes on the clock, starting right now. So, the first thing that you're going to want to do is you'll want to grab some stone bricks and some iron blocks. And we'll just build right over here. And what you're going to want to do is... Let's see, we'll just make sure we're lined up properly. Right about here, we're going to do five iron blocks, just like that. We'll put a stone brick here, and a stone brick here. Then we'll take our iron blocks again. We'll build that up just like this. So a total of four high, but leaving a gap right here. And that is going to be our garage door. Then, we will take our stone bricks back a total of eight blocks so one two three four five six seven eight or maybe it's nine blocks it might it might be nine blocks hold on did i already mess this up i may have already messed this up guys let me check i thought it was eight one two three four nope nope it is it's definitely nine it's definitely nine ignore what i just said anyway so we will go ahead, take it back nine blocks, and then this is 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And then we'll bring it over just like that. And we'll know that the dimensions are correct because we will be able to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 blocks and the windows will be like that so we'll count it one more time just to make sure one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen okay so that is all good that's the hardest part guys is laying out the base of the house so now we just go ahead and fill that in with quartz and we take the quartz up a total of four high but we'll get to that in a minute there we go so we're gonna take it up like this and then right here we're gonna bring it across so that it covers up the top of the garage door right here is where our door is gonna be this will be a window so we'll do Basically that. Then here, this is going to be a window, so we can leave a gap right there. And we're using quartz blocks here. You do not have to use quartz blocks. If you are trying to build this in survival mode, in fact, I would probably strongly recommend against using quartz blocks because they're, as you know, a wee bit expensive. So, if you, I mean, don't, don't use quartz blocks. You, if you are in survival mode, there's just no need for that. You can use pretty much any material. The big thing here is the design and layout of the house. Uh, birch would work fine. Sandstone, snow would work fine. There's a lot of options that you have that don't involve a massive quantity of quartz. So, here, what we're going to do is we're basically going to do the same thing over here. So we'll have a window of three right in the middle. And that is the majority of the inside of the house. Now, for the sneaky garage door, we're actually just going to cover the whole thing up with our quartz blocks. And we will do the same right here. So this is what it will look like. Now, we can get rid of that. Uh, we don't need this at the moment, or that, or that. That stuff's all fine. 
What we are going to grab is some cyan stained glass blocks and some cyan stained glass panes. The blocks are going to go right there. The panes are going to go in the windows that we made, which is, you know, kind of obvious since they're, you know, windows. But cyan stained glass, I think that's what looks best for this, but once again, you certainly don't have to use cyan stained glass if you don't want to. Now, here we are going to put an inverted stair, a normal stair, an inverted stair, and then we're going to take these inverted stairs all the way around just like that. So, that looks like that. Then we are going to take our oak stairs. We're going to build up our edges like this to lay the framework for where our roof is going to go. And we'll do the same right there. And then we can actually take our oak block or our oak stairs and just bring them around like this. Now, once again, you don't have to use oak stairs. You can use whatever building material you want. I'm using oak because I think the color pat the color palette matches nicely. And uh, let's be honest, oak is not a difficult material to obtain. In fact, it's probably the easiest of all materials to get your hands on. So, that is certainly a benefit if you're trying to build this in survival. So we've got that half of the roof almost finished. There we go. So that part's almost done. We'll add some more stuff to it in a minute. But then let's bring this up and bring it back down and we might as well just run this whole layer around right now missed one I always missed one we'll just bring that over here we're gonna do the same thing up here just like that there we go and we will bring this down too now another thing that I wanted to talk with you guys about is shaders as you can see i am using shaders right now and i am loving the shaders i think they add so much to these types of videos and builds i don't really want to use them all that much in my survival series um but for this kind of stuff i think they just make these houses look so much better so let me know what your guys' thoughts are on the shaders i i i can stop using them if you guys really hate them but I know some of you really, really like them, and I personally really, really like them as well. But let me know what you guys think on that, because if it's causing you, uh, you know, issues as far as, like, frame rates or any of that kind of stuff, if it's bothering you, if, um, if they're just too bright, you know, whatever it may be. If you're not a fan of shaders, let me know, and I can adjust accordingly. But... We're going to get this top layer of the roof put in now. If I can click, I am having... Oh, the struggle is real. Okay, there we go. Now, in these slots, we are going to put three slabs all together. Then we're going to take our oak stairs back and fill in these chunks just to kind of round out the roof a little bit. We're going to knock a spot out right there. And then over here, we're going to do basically the same thing and knock a spot out right there and in those spots that we just knocked out we're going to put one cyan glass window pane just like so now here we are going to take oak slabs and we are going to fill all of this in in fact we're going to do this little bit in oak slabs as well because if you're building in survival, it'll save, you on a, it'll save you a little bit of material. And if you're building in creative, well, the oak slabs are uh, already in your hot bar, so you don't have to go looking for oak planks. That's why I'm using slabs, truth be told. But we've got that all put in. Now for the roof, the roof is going to go, I'm thinking, right here. That's kind of what I'm leaning towards. 
So we'll just go ahead and fill in the roof like this. And we've almost got that done. And this is to do, this is for a couple reasons. First of all, it gives us a second floor. It gives us this attic, which we can use for more storage. Secondly, it keeps us from seeing that ugly, nasty roof. So, uh, right there is where we'll ultimately want the ladder to go. Let's just put a torch here and here so we can see. We'll come in here and grab... Actually, we're going to need a tripwire hook. Uh, but let's grab a ladder. And we'll put that right here like so. So now we can get up into our attic. I think I'll just put one more torch there just for lighting purposes. Now we get to do a little bit of work on the outside of the house. So first we're going to put a tripwire hook right there so you can open the garage. Then we're going to clear all this stuff out of our inventory. We're going to grab a dark oak door. Some dark oak fences. And some clay. There we go. And the dark oak fences we're going to put just like this. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to fill in the little awning that goes right here. There's a little awning that goes right here. It's made out of oak wood slabs, just like that. And there is a fence that comes like so. Is that... Is that right? Does that look right? No, no it's not. Okay. I'm sorry, I took it one too far. It goes like this. Yeah, that's much better. Okay. So this is how it actually goes. Then, we're going to take this, and we're going to put some clay in right here. And then in front of the driveway here, we're going to take this out, uh, I'd say about here or so. And this will be our driveway. Once again, just for show, doesn't actually serve a real purpose, but that's fine. At least you'll have a nice looking house with a nice looking driveway. So there we go, we've got that all done, and that's looking pretty good. The house, for all intents and purposes right now, is finished as soon as I put that door there. But we do have a tiny amount of time left, so I do want to do a couple other little finishing touches, if you will. So let's grab some bone meal and an oak tree. I think an oak tree would look very good if you put it right there. So we've got ourselves an oak tree in the front lawn, and then we could maybe add, like, uh, I don't know, maybe we could add another fence that goes along here, you know, get our driveway to extend a little bit further. Something along these lines, and then there could be, like, a sidewalk that goes along here or something and we could take this oak fence and bring it around the side of the house you know back that way whatever doesn't matter but right here we'll say this is a sidewalk so we've got our sidewalk going along right there we will take this out one more just so we know that this is the road and this sidewalk can continue on you know over there or whatever and then here we can take our fence and bring that back around this way as well. I'm not actually going, well, you know what, we've got time. Let's just go ahead and connect the fences. Why not? Why not? So we've got our nice little picket fence. The brown picket fence that goes around the house just like that. We've got our doorway. That's all looking pretty good. What else could we add? We could maybe add some flowers or something. Let's see. We go to food decoration blocks. Here we go. Maybe a couple poppies and some blue orchids. I don't know. You know, just something, uh, maybe something along here. Plant some flowers. Probably mostly for the benefit of Mrs. Wells. Because we all know that she loves flowers. And then maybe over here we could plant... Actually, this would be a really good spot for some bushes. Just like right along here. 
right along there. That would be a great spot for some bushes. Although I don't really like the bushes in this shader pack. I'm looking at them and they, the, the bushes are wiggling. So, you know what? Whatever. We will leave the bushes for the time being. I'm going to go ahead and call this build completed at 14 minutes and 22 seconds. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I really do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time. And this is going to be the very top layer. We're not going to have another layer after this as far as another floor goes, but we are going to do some stuff with the roof. So, let's go ahead and get this quartz put in.